to it. Yo, what's up, guys? So today is a special day. I'm headed to North Carolina to pick up a car that I got rid of not so long ago. A uh, buddy called me back this week, past week, and was talking to me and was asking me if I uh, wanted the car back still because I'd, I'd uh, called him not so long ago telling him how I wanted the car back, how I wish he'd let me get it back, but he was trying to trying to keep the car and then throwing some funny things, just putting his number plate and his name tag on the car, covering my name and stuff, trying to be funny. And But uh, I guess something came up, so he called me the other day and was asking me if I wanted the car still. I said, yeah, of course. And he said, well, could you come get it this weekend? And I'm like, well, I mean, I guess. Even though it's an eight-hour drive, so me and my girlfriend are loaded up now with a trailer and we're gonna go get it and once I get there I'll try to I'll video video around the cars just picking it up I think it's gonna be a pretty cool me getting one of my old cars back something that kind of started everything so I'm sure you guys that have followed me for a while now kind of know what car this is gonna be but for the for those that don't know stay tuned you'll see the car that I get I'm not gonna try and video too much through the trip because I don't want you guys getting bored with stupid footage or just things that are going to bore you so i'll try to be a little bit when we get closer there and when we first get there so stay tuned and thanks uh, so we got the first gas stop here i think we're close to knoxville about halfway it's been raining on us quite a bit but it's like five or six o'clock so we should get there around 11 p.m since we got the hour change but yeah just filling up Going through the mountains, about to go through Gatlinburg, which is gonna be a really happy part of the drive. But anyways, just getting at the gas station, get some of the drink and stuff anyways. So next video will probably be us uh, getting the car. East Coast needle city. Got the Nairn shop. In North Carolina, I don't even know what kind of Mustang that is if you need to see it. We walk up in here. Where's Naren at? Uh, I don't know. What are you doing? Video. <laughs> oh, shit. There's Randy. Damn, I'm getting old girl back. All right. Just got the Z loaded up. Leaving Naren's shop. What's up? I had to hold He's a Mustang man. boy now. Yeah, well, the only thing I added to is Z. I was going to put an engine in it or a supercharger, but we just added an inch of dust. Um, Jonathan hit me up, really wanted it back. So, uh, you know, he's my dude. I take care of him, and uh, I wanted to see it go back to good hands. And I, I knew he'd uh, do some more 1320 videos with some uh, twin turbos coming out the front end of this thing. So if fire ain't popping out of here in about three months, I'm, I'm coming to get it back. Yeah, I don't know about three months. I'll try to get the G35 done. Never mind. That's actually the most important. Yeah. But well, thanks. I'm still like part owner, I feel like. Uh, all right, yeah, you are pro. Oh, yeah, <laughs> y'all heard it first. Out, out the owner's mouth. All right, well, we heading out. It's like midnight. We trying to get home by 8 a.m. or so. Oh. All right, so it's 8 a.m. We're still three hours from home. So that means we're not gonna be home until 11. She's gotta work at 3.30. But I gotta say, I'm gonna be sleeping because I'm super tired, but I'm super thankful that she went with me and we were able to pick up my old car. And we went to McDonald's at two in the morning and she dumped my cheeseburger in the floor. So I threw it out the a.m. We just made it back from North Carolina. Oh, half ton pickup did her job again. This thing's been all over the place. I love this truck. It's just beater truck. But anyways, I'll take you over the old chassis. If some of you guys didn't know, it's got a bunch of dust on it now. But you can see where the hood exits were. We're in Swin Turbo. The turbo is mounted in here, and the air filter came out the bumper. And then the exhaust obviously came out the bumper. You can see it's really rough, but with some new Crown Carbon Crafting over fenders and uh, probably new doors because of the other side and uh, the over fender in the back. I cut these holes out because it's the last run in Pro-Am. 
I was having trouble seeing, even though we taped off all the holes inside. I still was having tire smoke issue, and you can see how much tire smoke was coming out of these fenders. But anyways, it's a little rough. You can see the you got the hole here for the parachute. Uh, I remade this firewall. I never even got to compete with the firewall. I need to remake it probably. I think I'm going to tear the whole harness out. You know, build a custom harness for it. You can see here's the rough side of the car. Uh, Mike Fiat hit me pretty hard. I actually ran up. He hit my front tire and ran up over my car. You can see how good the car, crown car and fenders were. We literally, he ran and it folded this whole fender up over the car and the hood. And I just put another rivet here, folded her down, and uh, it ripped this whole piece off too. I zip tied it back on, but, you know, it'll work. Anyways, new fender, uh, new door, and other than that, put an engine in it. Still got the handbrake, still got my switch panel. Oh, got the famous don't suck sticker. So, a few things uh, I'll have to do to it, but other than that, I think it's going to come out pretty cool. I'm going to try and keep you all updated on the build on that. And then my G35 sedan, which is actually on the other side of this, which actually we'll just take a look at that. I'm going to put that together. Uh, so our performance came on board for that car. We're going to try and get a probably maybe a 5.3 putting in. I think the G37 is going to get a 370 cubic inch engine, uh, 6.0 block, board out a little bit from Mike Lau. And so I'll try to put the 5.3 maybe in that car, which is out there. It's just been sitting for a while, but hell, I may try to clean that up today and get that going. But anyways, I'm gonna try and post as many video updates as I can on building these cars. Um, I should have the G35, I think. I think the sedan will be done roughly around March, maybe even sooner, just depending on what kind of budget I got, what I can afford and stuff. Main focus is get the G37 back going, so it's gonna be ready for Pro 2, get some practice laps in it before Orlando. But other than that, should be good to go. So stay tuned, guys.